the question today is on latitudes and longitudes KCC paper 2 question number 20 and the question reads a ship left point P 10 degrees south 40 degrees east and sailed due east 90 hours at an average speed of 24 knots to a point R take one nautical mile to be 1.853 kilometers and radius of the earth to be 6370 kilometers then part a calculate the distance between p and r in nautical miles and in kilometers then part b determine the position of point r and finally for part c find the local time to the nearest minute at point r when the time at p is 11 a.m so right to the first part we are required to calculate the distance between p and r so the first thing we are going to locate the position of p so let's interpret this information here in a diagram so if this is the globe then we have reference point so the reference point here this is the prime meridian and the equator both at zero degrees so we are told that point p is on latitude 10 degrees south and on longitude 40 degrees east So where the latitude and the longitude meet, that is where we have the position of point P. And then you are told that the ship sailed due east, so eastwards in that direction to point R, but we do not know exactly the position of R, but we are told the speed of the ship, which is 24 knots and the time it takes so we can use the time and the speed to determine the distance covered so we are going to say distance is equal to speed times time and remember 24 knots that is nautical miles per hour so one nautical mile per hour is just equivalent to one knot so they mean the same thing so here the distance is given as speed times time and the speed is 24 knots and time is 90 hours so finally that should give us 2160 nautical miles so that is for roman 1 for roman 2 we are required to calculate the distance or rather the same distance in kilometers but we know that one nautical mile that is from right up here one nautical mile is equivalent to 1.853 kilometers so how about this 2160 nautical miles so cross multiplying we end up with 2160 times 1.853 over 1 and that should give us 4002.48 kilometers so once you are done with part a we can now look at part b so in part b we are required to determine the position of r so remember the ship left p to point r eastwards so by the time it gets to point r then it must be lying on some longitude so we want to determine the longitude once we determine the longitude we'll be able to get the position of point r so in order to get the longitude then we first need to get the angle difference between 40 degrees east and the longitude 
that point R is lying on. So we can use either of the distances. So I'll opt to use the distance in nautical miles. So we know when the ship is moving from P to R, then it's moving along a latitude. So when it's, it moves along a latitude, then the distance is given us theta, which is the angle difference, times 60, times cosine of alpha, and for this case, alpha is the latitude. So, already we know that the distance is 2160 nautical miles, and we do not know theta, so theta times 60 times cosine of alpha, and alpha is a latitude that is 10 degrees south, so we, mu so we multiply by cosine of 10. So with this, dividing both sides by 60 cos 10, we'll end up with theta being 36.56 degrees. So that is the angle difference. So if we are moving from P towards R and we are moving through 36.56 degrees, so that means to 40 degrees east, we will have to add 36.56 degrees so that we get the longitude which R is lying on. So R is here. So we do not know this, but we can obtain it now. So the longitude R lies is given by, so we have 40 degrees east, but because R is to the east of longitude 40 degrees is so we add the angle difference so that we are going to add 36.56 degrees and that is 76.56 degrees east of the prime meridian so that therefore implies that r lies on 10 degrees south and 76.56 degrees east. So that is the position of point R. Remember, we could as well get the value of theta by using the distance in kilometers. And if we were to do that, then we'd use the formula distance, which is 4002.48 is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r cos alpha. Of course, we know that r is 6370 and alpha is 10. So with this, we can also get the value of theta, which is 36.56, and use it still to get the position of r. So, lastly to part C, we are told to find the local time to the nearest minute at point R when the time at P is 11 a.m. So we are told that the time at P is 11 a.m. So here we have the time as 11 a.m. So we are required to get the time at R. So, the times at point P and R will be determined by the longitudinal difference. So, the local time at P and local time at R will differ due to the longitudinal difference. So, we first of all need to get the longitudinal difference. So, the longitudinal difference between P and R, which will represent by angle theta already we had gotten it to be 36.56 degrees 
but we also know that 15 degrees is equivalent to one hour therefore this 36.56 degrees should represent what time difference so we need to get the time difference between point p and point r so this implies that when cross multiplying we'll have 36.56 times 1 over 15 and that is 2 hours 26 minutes that is to the nearest minutes and therefore so time at r is equal to so once we've gotten that the time difference between the two longitudes is 2 hours 26 minutes then already we know the time at p but point r is to the east of p so points towards the east are usually ahead in time so for us to get the time at r then we need to add the time difference to the time at p so here we are going to have 11.00 plus 2 hours 26 minutes and that should give us 13.26 hours which is just 1.26 p.m. And that is it for this question. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.